the regulatory role of the Insurance Commissioner's Office. I'm Jill Horner, this is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is the Delaware Insurance Commissioner, Trinidad Navarro. Thanks so much for being with us. You're welcome. Uh, let's talk about that regulatory role that your office serves when uh, an organization is coming to you. Talk to us a little bit about the role of your office in working to negotiate rates for ratepayers. Well, uh, this is timely because in a, in a few weeks, uh, Highmark is going to send us their rate proposal. Typically, it's an increase. Uh, last year, they were seeking about a 35.6% increase. Um, we were able to, again, I'm, I'm not patting myself on the back because any increase is too much, but we were able to negotiate it down to about 25%. So it certainly did save Delawareans with respect to what they pay for their, for their health insurance. So that's happening now. And what will happen with, with Highmark, with health insurance, is they'll, they'll file it. Uh, we'll hire an independent actuary. Uh, they look at those uh, documents. We really dive into the factors they use, like morbidity and how sick the state of Delaware is, things of that nature. Uh, and then what we did last year was negotiate over several weeks. Uh, so that's just one small part of the regulatory process in our office. We also look at uh, when we have large companies that try to either spin off or, or merge or, or combine uh, forces, um, we have to examine that. And in the most recent few, that we've had what we would call an uncontested merger or acquisition. Last year, you may have heard of the small company called MetLife. And MetLife spun off some of their commercial products to a company called uh, Bright House Financial. And that was a small transaction of about $220 billion. So this is something that uh, it's much more complex than I could have ever imagined when I first started as the insurance commissioner. But we have a great staff on hand and have uh, hired all the experts to get these things done. And those are some of the things that you do as an office. Uh, but when it comes to an, an increase in rates, uh, when there is an increase at all, you are actually looking at these transactions. Whereas before, if there was a smaller increase, uh, it may have been approved. Yes, uh, it used to be that anything under 5% a rate increase, we would almost rubber stamp it. We don't do that now. I look in each and every one of those, and I'm fortunate to have the staff on hand, and I'm fortunate to have a new deputy insurance commissioner now who can advise me on each and every one of these, whether it's your car insurance or homeowner's insurance or really any line. We scrutinize each and every one of them. And I want to quickly ask you, you mentioned a new deputy insurance commissioner that you've brought on board. You say this is an important role for your office. It sure is. I mean, uh, our, our new deputy, her name's Tanisha Merced. She's been with us about two weeks. And really, a lot of the data that comes to me uh, goes through the deputy's office. So she would review it. She would deal with the actuary. She would deal with uh, hearing officers and then pre pre present it to me with uh, some help from our, our, uh, our staff. And then that's how we come up with the, uh, the number, if you will, that we're either going to approve or disapprove. Uh, for rate filings. Thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. We've been talking with Delaware's Insurance Commissioner Trinidad Navarro. I'm Jill Horner.